for uh, you know an industrial product maker to have no physical goods, you know, or uh, to have no stock. Um, and if you think about those sorts of things, instead of them extending out to uh, having a digital twin or a digital asset, if they only ever had a digital twin or a digital asset and start from that point backwards, uh, you start to see quite a few people concerned about that kind of disruption, uh, both as a threat, but also, you know, how do they be the one that actually is the disruptor? Increasingly now, and the big challenge is in the ecosystem space, where the products perform, and we're not just looking at an individual product, but these products have to interoperate with other products as part of assemblies or just as part of the, way of the environment that they, they, they operate within. And it actually, the connection between the original digital design all the way through the entire life cycle of the product brings us back new opportunities about keeping that product vital to the customer and keeping the engineering and manufacturing companies relevant to the products that are operating in their ecosystems. The smarter product uh, clearly in its simplest way could be connected back so you're able to sort of look at that, understand how it's performing, uh, look at what's going out of tolerance, what might need adjusting, uh, and, and keep it performing optimally as you originally designed. Actually just having the ability to start moving forward towards recognising that, that, that vision without defining it all through. And that's actually quite hard for people with an engineering mentality. We like to think through a full product and work it through what the stages are. Um, in a very systems-based way. Um, but what we're really saying is, just start. Yeah? Find some minimal viable product that you can start off with, some certain areas, and say, um, if I can work out a framework for making sure that these individual efforts come together, then I can worry about that coherence across the systems engineering sort of point of view um, along the way. So, so an architectural coherence, and then small, uh, minimum viable kind of iterations that allow you to kind of start off on the journey. With the physical and the digital kind of weaving together, what I'm seeing is actually a revert back to that good old fashioned systems engineering need to work out how to differentiate, how to, to come up with stuff which actually makes a difference. Thank you.